Welcome back, True Believers. This is Rakdar, and today we're going to be playing Act 7, Lioness's Hunting Diary. The males and cubs count on the lionesses to provide food. Hunt again today within the Yamanote line, where pterodons circle. I like saying pterodons, even though it's obviously not the way you're supposed to pronounce that. So yeah, welcome back. In the last episode, uh, the beagles got their territory all uh, straightened out. The lead beagle passed the goodness on to the guy who could pee on stuff faster. And in this episode, we're finally playing as something like substantial, even though Pomeranians is a pretty substantial, substantial hunter. So let's begin. The escaped zoo lions live in a pride with the Yamanote lion as its territory. The role of a lioness within a pride is to hunt for food to feed the males and cubs. You have commenced your savage hunt in a dangerous area with Pterodon soaring overhead. Your prey are gazelles, hippos, white horses, and kangaroos. All roam along the Yamanote line, but at different times. Sleep in your lair to change times as your hunt requires. View information on your prey by pressing select. Oh wow, this mission is like way different than any mission before, alright. I guess I'll start off by just going after whatever is here right now. Do I need to bring back one of every kind, I guess? I don't know. Oh, sheep. Psh. I mean, I could kill these sheep, but they're not my prey. Oh, dude, I can't even kill a sheep. What kind of lion am I? Dude, we're gonna get this sheep. I like, wow, being a, it's so weird being like a big animal now, since for such a huge chunk of the game, you're like a cat or a beagle or something. And I've got like three other things. And what are the pterodons? The pterodons gonna come attack me. And by the way, I still think it's insane that there's dinosaurs in this game. Like, I just. I can't get over the fact that it's such a funny little touch to add to the game. Maybe the pterodons will be up here. Oh. Oh, nope. It's just gonna be like. That is a gazelle. Alright. Wow, is it with all these... They purposely like put all these freaking, uh... All these, uh, other... these goats here. Alright. There we go! Oh, look at that! The, it does, the goats don't even matter! I got... I got my kill count! I got my Modern Warfare kill count up! I'm playing some Halo, and of course all my family gets to do all the eating, and I have to eat the stupid lambs and stuff. That's dumb. These guys haven't earned it like I have. Alright, so... Oh. Let's see who else we got. Hippos appear by day near water, unless it senses danger. Hide and tall grass and wait. Horses appear day and night, and kangaroos appear at night. So really, it looks like I don't need to change the time yet, because... There apparently is, uh, some hippos- Oh, dude, so... What? A lion wait in the tall grass, then- it... oh, Okay, I get it. So yeah, I played some survival yesterday, I think I unlocked the chick. So, I am going to, I think, do a survival as the chick, since it's like the weakest thing I can possibly think of. Alright. Can I do it? Dude, this hippo is like... I don't think lions actually really take it. Dude, like, hippos have rough skin, and... I guess there's three lions. Oh, dude. Can I go now? Can I go- is that a good time? Yeah! Clean kill! Alright, I was like... When is it... I didn't know if there was like a certain time they wanted me to do that or not, but... That was the right time. The time is nigh, my friends. Holy shit! I don't even think that all these animals need this much food. Like, this is just like overfeeding your pet, we're gonna have like a super fat cat, and then Guinness World of Book of Re Book of World Records is gonna come and be like, We're gonna congratulate you on mistreating your pet! Because that's what happens. Guinness Book of World Records comes and congratulates people for mistreating their pets. And for mistreating themselves. Alright, so I've got one more animal, possibly the horse. 
Holy shit, by the way, I ran into more horses in-game. I am so, like, I don't even know if I'm supposed to attack horses, because they are just, like, beastly looking. I feel bad. I, I think White Horse is probably the closest thing you're gonna get to a unicorn in this game. Like, something gives me... The feel oh, there's crocodiles. I bet crocodiles will totally fuck my shit up. I'm gonna kill that crocodile just so I can feel more safe. Oh! He's looking at me. Look away! Oh, dude, screw that. I was like, haha, I can kill him even when he's looking at me. And I can drink the water. And eat the crocodile. Wow. There's like, it's so weird. Like, I'm so used to like hunting beagles as a Pomeranian or hunting Tosas as, you know, but. Right, we got hyenas. A lion's natural enemy. Or like, a lion's natural servant as proven to us by. That video game called. Let's just kill this. Oh, whoa, oh, just, just, just too late! <laughs> There's no chance to survive. There we go. As proven to us by the movie uh, Pocahontas. And uh, Scar naturally is the villain in Pocahontas. And he is followed by a pack of hyenas. <laughs> Played by um, Queen Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I forget I forget who the other ones are. It was Queen Latifah and Rocky Balboa. Was dude, pff, that's not even rabbits aren't even on my radar. I want horses. I want to kill me some horses. I guess I could have made it nighttime to kind of speed think. Whoa! Oh, the horses are gonna. Oh, I thought they were gonna battle. They're just gonna run. That's how the horses play. All right. Thoroughbreds are fast and wary. If it bolts, you've lost it. What? Resting in your lane will advance between... But... How did it get the chance to bolt? That's what I don't get, like... I was just walking up to it. I guess I gotta sneak around the long way, or some shit like that. Well, whatever. This will give me a chance to get a kangaroo. Alright, let's go read about... Kangaroos. Appears by night, strong and aggressive, so I bet the kangaroo is probably gonna try and fight me. And now that it's nighttime, maybe there'll be some, like, hyenas out. Look at this. I can probably just wipe up and just swipe these and just kill them. Yep. <laughs> I don't even know why that's funny to me. Fucking lions killing lambs. Aren't they supposed to be, like, friends with each other or something, like, in that one thing? The, like, the Bible or whatever? No. Oh, yeah. That's, like, a metaphor and shit. Alright, we're gonna get some kangaroos though, that's... Oh, dude. Look at this. They, we can kill them before they even wake up, it's just like... Chicken... Yeah, right. Sorry, buddy. You got... When you're, like, up against the king of the jungle, you really don't stand two licks of a chance. Whoa, but there's a cheetah up on top of this car. And I know it's a train, but trains, that's what they are. They're cars, okay? So don't be like, that's a train, it's not a car. But it's like, I was talking about the car of the train. Oh, this hyena, now the hyena, my natural enemy, wants to go at me. Uh, dude, uh, what I'm gonna do right now is be like, I know that... Wait, who is coming after me right now? Oh, it's... Oh, whoa, these things are gonna fight each other, but I'm gonna fight them. If I die against a cheetah and some hyenas, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, that hyena called more hyenas. Oh, that's messed up. I thought I- oh, he made- oh, there we go, get it! No, I did the bite! Urgh. Get a kill on something, you stupid lion! You suck at fighting! Whoop. There we go, get the bite, yeah! Alright, eat everything. Oh yeah, so I was just gonna say right now, I know that The Lion King is the movie I was talking about, and that Whoopi Goldberg plays one of the hyenas, not Queen Latifah. But... What I think would be funny is if I said that, and then somebody, like, says in the comments, uh, oh, dude, my stuff's gonna get away. Somebody says in the comments, like, dude, it's the Lion King, and it's not Queen Latifah. And then they'll watch later in the video, and they'll be like, oh, no, he knew that. Oh, <laughs> I like that the kangaroo, like, <laughs> is teaming up with these bunnies. And where did my team go? This is stupid. And why can I not one-shot these bunnies? That's the real- that's the real question here. Do these bunnies have been training by- with the kangaroo, like... They are well-trained- they're well-oiled machines now. Like, before they were just one-shottable bunaroos, but now they're like, 
10 shotable kill Miru's. Oh my gosh. Bunaroo's suck. Give me the option to one shot this Bunaroo, okay? And why are my guys not attacking the Bunaroo's with me? Bunaroo's are deadly animals. Give me the option to bite its neck or something. Dude, we gotta. Oh, dude, this kangaroo. This is a tough boss right now. Oh, man. Okay. Get. Get. Just. Okay. Dude. You gotta get rid of these rabbits. They're, like, causing so much damage right now. Except for I should really be going after. Okay. Kangaroo. You have, like. Give me. It's not giving the option to bite the kangaroo in the neck. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. One of my tigers went. Lions went down. I was about to call it a tiger. Oh, finally. Jesus, Krebus. That was so annoying as fuck. That was not cool, man. That was not cool. Either way, though, my kids get to eat kangaroo for dinner. That means they're gonna become good boxers, because that's how DNA works. You get a little bit of the DNA of everything that you eat. All right, so this time, it looks like I gotta get the horse, and the horse is not gonna get away. And if it does, that's gonna annoy the living poop out of me. Hopefully I don't run into too many. Do I have three again? Does it, dude? It bumps me back up to three. Nice. So if there's a bunch of cubs and one, uh, let's forget it. I was like, I was gonna try and sneak up on that hyena, but I'm like, I'm a fucking lion. I don't sneak up on hyenas. Hyenas sneak up on me and then I kill them. Same with this. Oh, he's asleep. He's sleeping. Oh, he's not sleeping anymore. Oh, dude, the crocodile is vicious when it's not asleep. Oh, well, I guess it's not that vicious. But he brings his freaking crocodile friend. Dude, that doesn't matter. Crocodiles are little wusses. Although they can't get the insta kill on me if I don't evade properly. That that happens to me sometimes in survival where I forget the evade thumbstick and I just freaking get my ass handed to me. It is not fun. Oh. Okay, we're gonna get clean kill. Cause I don't want to get a dirty kill. Oh, this guy's gonna call more. Oh, there's two. There's two callers in the group. Oh, we're about to fight a big old pack of hyenas. Oh man, this is bad. Well, it's not that bad. I mean, they're hyenas. I'm a lion. Oh, we gotta get this other one before he starts. Oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, this is getting. This is getting bad. Oh crap. Oh, one of those. Oh, evade. There we go. Oh, nice. Got the evade glitch. It's not a glitch, it's just how the game works. Dude, that time. Sometimes there's uh, red teeth over the enemy, and it's not counting when I hit it. Okay. No more hyenas calling their friends. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of your shit, hyena. It's not like your fucking friends are Carly Rae, Carly Rae Jepsen. They don't want you to call them, maybe. In fact, I don't want you to call them at all. Oh, dude. Here comes more hyena. Oh, he- no, he's leaving. Alright. I'm gonna eat my fill. Alright. Horse, here I come. Oh, wait. Let's see. Is there a train that runs past the horse? I'm trying to figure out if I can sneak up- Oh. Oh, oh crap! <laughs> the deal's gone south. Alright. Dude, even with the deal's gone south, I can still get this- this cheetah. Alright. Yeah, screw you, cheetah. Whether or not the deal's gone south, I can still kick your ass. I'm a freaking lion. Alright, what's in this train? Oh, bunnies. Whatever. See, bunnies... They're, they're, they're not that bad. Alright, so... The horse... Okay, the horse is all the way over that way. I'm trying to think of, like... If I should go up like this. Like, maybe the horses will be at sleep... No, I'm going up around! Ah, it's count... Okay, so that's counting that as the right thing to do. Oh, and they are asleep. Alright, now's your chance. Okay. Yeah, see? Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I got that horse like it's nobody's business. And now my family gets to eat the meat of every animal. They're gonna get fat though, or hopefully those are all gonna turn into big beefy lions. And look at those two cubs over there, they don't give a fuck. They're just becoming circus performers. Because I assume that's what all wrestlers do, is they become circus performers. And your final kill is the most dangerous game. Other lions. Oh no, now they're gonna finally bring in- I was like, 
They didn't really incorporate the pterodons. I forgot that pterodons were even flying over until... Like, I was being so dumb, I completely forgot that that was like a part of this quest. That's lion for pterodon attack. Your cubs are hungry. This time, hunt for pteranodon. Wait. Or pterodon. Or pterandon. Pteranodanodon. Pterodactyl. Alright. So I guess... Okay, I find the, the pterodon layer. I was like, how do you catch the pterodon if it, if it flies? But I was like, I, so... The explanation you have to uh, find the pterodon layer makes a lot of sense. Although, um, when I play as a cat in survival, I actually end up getting a lot of uh, extra kills off of birds because cats can jump and slash in the air really quickly. So I just end up like going after all kinds of crows if I'm desperate for food because it's like. I found that it's way easier to do that as a cat than as a dog. Like, I don't know why. It just is. Oh, dude, the lion cannot double jump. Don't... Whoa, what's in here? Probably nothing. It's like just some... It's a human apartment. Oh my god, more human apartments. That's where Pomeranians like to have sex. Oh, can I... Yep, I was like, I need to jump down here. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> That was close. Dude, I'm not even gonna bother with these guys because, like, there's four of them and the rest of my pack, they're like, Oh, this thing saw me! Alright, bothering will now be done. Oh, dude, we gotta get to that guy before he calls- Oh, he called his friends. Oh, this is gonna get- Dude, I saw- I saw this in the Lion King, and trust me, when this happened in the Lion King, fucking Simba got messed up by the hyenas. Wait, was it Simba? That got messed up by a group of hyenas, and then, like, somebody came, like, Mufasa. No, I mean... What's the guy with the staff that is not a lion? <laughs> I like how... I forget what an orangutan is, so I'm like... Alright, all the characters in The Lion King are hyena, lion, not a lion, which could be, like, Timon and Boomba too. Oh, man, I'm such a stupid person. What is that name? Rafiki! Oh my gosh, the name of the guy is Rafiki. There's no cheetahs in The Lion King, though. Maybe there is in The Lion King 2 Electric Boogaloo. Or Simba's Pride. Oh, I'm gonna ki kill the babies? And that oh my god, I'm a monster! But you know what? This is... We in the jungle, baby! The Tokyo jungle. You gonna die? You gonna die, pterodon babies. Alright. So now we have to find a way to get up on top of this thing, I guess? Oh no, the only way to get up on top of it is from going around the other way. That's lame! How did I not... Okay, how do we get up there? How do I get up there? I'm really not seeing a way that the game intends for me to get on top of this train to go kill these... Oh, here we go! Haha, -ha, that's it. Alright. I guess I need to be stealthy about this. I'll probably end up having to fight the... Um... Okay. Grab... Okay, grab hold of it. Oh, I forgot I could even do this because I've never done it. So far in the game. Like, I never use it in survival. Yep, I was like, it's gonna make me fight Pterodons. There's no way they're gonna put me into this situation without putting me into, like, a Pterodon boss fight. Alright, um... Quickly... Oh, it doesn't want me to fight them? I think it'd be fun to fight the Pterodons, but I guess I have to... Oh, dude, Tiger has a lot of stamina. Oh, I guess I should save the stamina jumps for when the Pterodon actually swoops at me. Because, like, look. Oh, there, like that. That's when I should save my stamina. So if I hear it, like, right like right now, I should start stamina jumping. There we go. Alright. There we go. What? How did it hit me? I was stamina jumping. Oh, dude. I think... Oh, there we go. I was like, I think if I get hit one more time, I'm screwed. Did I get back to safety with my Pterodon hatchling? Yes, I think I did! Hello, family. I've bought freaking dinosaurs. You know, I can't wait to get to the point in the archives where I find out why dinosaurs are... in this world. Like, it's already explained the robot dogs to me, because the robot dogs came from humans, but it's like... Did humans clone dinosaurs before they died off in this game as well? I don't know. Only the archives will tell. 
You've brought sufficient food for the pride, hopefully enough to survive for a few days longer. And your bitch friend didn't even help. You're now taking a short nap to rest before the next hunt. Mission complete. Alright, so that was the uh, Lioness's story. I think that was Act 7. So with that, this has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.